So how do you rank on YouTube videos on the first page very fast? I'm gonna be breaking it down in this video. Okay guys, so I have to confess something here. When I first started on YouTube, I struggled to get views. I didn't fully understand how YouTube worked and I thought that if I just had amazing content, I would actually go viral. Well, I was actually wrong. I'm going to tell you guys something that I wish somebody had told me back then. YouTube is not magic, okay? Of course your content matters. Of course you need to make engaging content that actually helps people or entertains people. But you also have to play the game. Great content will not magically right to the top, no matter how great it is. You have to understand how YouTube works and how you need to go ahead and function with YouTube as a platform to get yourself discovered. And YouTube videos are not ranked just because of the best content. There's a few other secret tips about YouTube that allows them to rank and get discovered out there, and I'll be breaking it down in this video. One of those tips is a thing called YouTube SEO. So what is SEO? SEO stands for Search Engine Optimization. What that means is formatting your website, in this case your video, to be found more easily in searches. For example, when you search something in Google, Google uses an algorithm to determine which results pop up first. They keep the algorithm secret so we don't totally know all the criteria, but one thing they definitely pay attention to is keywords. If you search for best electronic deals and there's a website literally called best electronic deals, well that's definitely going to come up in the search results. So before we dive into how to get your videos ranking higher on the search page, I just want to take a second to explain to you how YouTube search algorithm works. The good news is that YouTube actually tells you what criteria they use to determine search order ranking. Like Google's search engine, search on YouTube strives to surface the most relevant results according to the keyword queries. Videos are ranked based on a variety of factors including how well the title and description, video content match, and just in general how well the viewer really enjoyed the video and, and did they stay around, did they engage with the video, did they get what they wanted to when they actually searched for it in the query. So there are two major things to keep in mind when optimizing your videos for search. Number one is keyword terms. Number two is engagement. We already talked about keywords a bit, but they are kind of words in your title, description, and tags that help your audiences to find your content. Engagement means how long audiences are watching your videos. This is a bit trickier to control. We'll get a little bit more into it later, but there are some very easy ways to boost engagement on your videos outside of making great content. Let's dive into keywords and I'll break down a few steps that you can actually use to optimize the keywords that you use in your content to help your audiences find you fast. The first thing we will break down is keywords. Alright guys, so how do you figure out the best keywords to use to help people find your videos? You have to get to know your audience. Before you can figure out what your audience is searching for, you need to know who they are and what they actually want. With the search results and suggested videos, the YouTube algorithm is just looking for ways to help audiences find the content that they're looking for. Not everyone is going to want to watch your videos and that's totally okay. Check out your analytics page to learn about your audience's demographics. Watch the suggested videos that pop up next to yours. Learn from people that you're trying to imitate. Read comments and pay attention to videos that have high views and like counts and see what's really important to the audiences that you're trying to really talk to. And that will give you a better idea of what they're looking for so you can create a piece of content that will match what they're searching for. That is the biggest secret and biggest tactic to growth is figure out what your audience actually wants to watch. Sometimes what you think you want to watch and what maybe they might want to watch is not actually what they want to watch. So you have to do your own research. In order to choose the perfect keywords to include in your title, description, and tags, you need to do a bit of research. First, you got to come up with a list of keywords that you think might be relevant to your content and your niche. Then you have to type each of them into the YouTube search bar. And before you hit enter, a bunch of other suggested keywords will pop up. Those are the other keywords that people are actually searching for on the topic. So congrats, you just did some keywords research. It's really that easy. Now, you can include those keywords in your hashtags, descriptions, and titles to make sure people can find you. You can also look at other YouTube channels in your niche with a lot of views and see which keywords they use and you can also head over to the analytics page one more time and click traffic sources. This will show you a list of keywords that people have searched in the past in order to find your videos. After you do all of that, 
you should have a great list of relevant keywords that people are searching for that you can then create a piece of content around. The next thing is you gotta be strategic with your keywords. So you've just done all this keyword research and you're reading to optimize your video, but wait, there's a catch. If you choose a really popular keyword like funny videos, you're going to be competing with a ton of other videos out there. And it's so general and so popular that when people search in, in the search bar for it, you have way less of a chance of ranking high up in the search results, especially if you're just starting out. A great way to make sure that you find a keyword that is searched a lot but is not too competitive is to download this extension called TubeBuddy. Now TubeBuddy is a great because honestly you can type in a keyword with TubeBuddy, it will show you a search volume and the competitiveness of the keyword. So you can pick a keyword that is searched a lot but not so much that you have to compete with other popular channels. And so the link for TubeBuddy will be down below in the description and I recommend you go ahead and get it. So pretty much to sum it up, your goal is to find most specific keywords that fit with your niche but don't have too many other videos associated with them that you will then get lost. So the next thing is you wanna incorporate your keywords. Okay, so guys, look, you, so once you find the perfect keywords, you want to make sure they appear in the title. Make your titles long to help with this, which also will make them stand out because they're more specific. Make sure you also include them in your video descriptions at least two to four times and within the first 250 words, make your descriptions long to about one to two paragraphs, which YouTube seems to prefer. Add them as tags, okay? Including simple variations on your keywords and finally make sure you actually say your keywords in your video this is important because YouTube automatically transcribes your video when it's uploaded and the keyword will pop up there too okay great so you found your keywords and optimize your video for search but you're not done just yet next we're going to talk about the other half of the puzzle for YouTube SEO which is engagement engagement is a tricky one because it really is just about whether or not you have great content so I know I say this over and over again guys but you have to deliver value for your audience know them very well and know what they want to actually see and watch your analytics and page and just really just see what they're interested in it's the most important thing you can do when it comes down to making a YouTube video is figure out what people actually want to watch but if you know you need high engagement how do you measure it you know how do you know if you're doing everything you can to get your videos ranked well here are a few criteria YouTube uses to define engagement first thing is comments okay so you have to ask your subscribers and viewers to leave comments on your page when in doubt ask them a specific question that they can answer in the comment section just give them certain things that will make them almost like a prompt make them want to comment and and kind of create a dialogue so you can get several comments going in the comment section and then when they finally do that remember to actually engage with them in the comment section the next thing you can do is actually asking people to obviously subscribe to your video and leave a like those two are very critical because that helps you a lot and finally the, the last thing you can really focus on when it comes down to engagement is asking them to share your video to other people especially on their own personal platforms now this you won't get as many shares obviously compared to let's say likes but it does give them a prompt and it reminds them to do something that maybe they just forgot about but they actually wanted to do and so by reminding them they'll actually go ahead and go out of their way to try to share your piece of content and that'll help you so much okay guys so that's it make sure you check out TubeBuddy, the extension I recommended down below in the description click the link that's pretty much it for this video if this helped you out remember to leave a like on this video and subscribe to this YouTube YouTube channel make sure you check out my Instagram where I do a lot more behind the scenes about YouTube and you can kind of see just behind the scenes of my life and how I run multiple YouTube channels on the platform of YouTube with over 3 million subscribers in total and just in general you can kind of understand just the process that I go through to make these channels a little bit more on my Instagram so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video peace